So this week I just thought it'd be fun to show you what a typical week in my life actually looks like living in Charleston. And this morning I had basically worked all weekend and it was Monday and I had a professor cancel class, which was the best thing ever. It gave me a chance to catch up on <laughs> three loads of laundry, but I also baked pumpkin bread because self-care. And I watched a couple episodes of Gilmore Girls because like every other person on the planet who loves fall, it it is my comfort show. I made this recipe from love and lemon because I didn't have like I only had olive oil but it actually turned out pretty good it may have tasted a little healthy that's okay we like that sometimes I like that sometimes hi everybody so I thought I would do just like a little like book update I've honestly done a lot of reading this fall on my days off or just like I'm trying to incorporate reading as a habit as like a replacement to my phone which sometimes doesn't work out so well being back in regular school like I actually have to check my email and check my grades more often one habit that I've been trying to get into is like bringing a book everywhere I go so if I have a minute where nobody's really talking and I'm just sort of like waiting for class to start or waiting you know like taking the bus or something like that uh, hi everybody editing Katie I'd like to issue a complaint to um the world to the globe i don't know what th has happened and i think that this is maybe just youth culture Ooh. but everyone and everything seems to be revolving around tiktok aesthetics and like the trend of like not being like the other girls or being like the other girls all of that stuff and i would just like to make a ploy or like an mm, i would just like to make an argument for those who want to start reading but they have this voice in their head that's like oh like i don't know like i like all the TikTok nonsense of like, oh, reading for an aesthetic and like being like the other girls and the other, whatever, whatever it is. Um, if you want to read, um, just read books. If you don't want to read books, don't read books. That's a lot of mental cartwheels to get to like doing something. What I will say, the reason that I read and the reason that I now read in public like a lot is because of dopamine hits because this, this bad boy that I'm recording this voice memo on because my computer audio is real bad. What was I talking about? It happens to me like 500 times a day. One of the leading causes of like why our phones make us so depressed is because <laughs> dopamine hits. Like we get too many of them at once throughout the day when we get actual dopamine from real life, it's like depleted or something. I'm not a scientist, okay, clearly. However, I have noticed that if I spend more time reading and away from my phone and not looking at notifications and checking my email, which is my toxic trait, um, I feel better mentally. So if you wanna do something to feel better mentally, don't worry about what people are gonna say or the jokes they're gonna make because just read or, do or don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I can pull out a book and read a couple pages in between. I have gotten some through some and I wanna give some like recommendations because I've been reading like a good mix of classic books and then sort of new books. If you like thrillers, I love a thriller book, especially for October. I love Lisa Jewell. So if you've read the book, Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell, this was a really good one. And then I also actually, it's my, cameras balancing on it right now but Lisa Jewel the family upstairs both of these were really good reads very fast I read these pretty quickly but like I love a book like that where you just like want to know the ending so bad that you just stay up to read it so I definitely recommend Lisa Jewel I did read the midnight library yeah so this book is like on everybody's reading list that I see and my mom picked it up in a free little library and I stole it from her I really liked this book. It was a departure. It was it was a nice little almost dystopian, not even dystopian. I don't know. It was like a fun little fantasy book. It was just about life and um, meaning and taking different paths. And especially being a senior in college, reading a book like this right now gave me an existential crisis. However, uh, a nice read, a very nice read, especially for October. Jane Eyre. I read this a couple weeks ago. I finished it. I didn't love it as much as Wuthering Heights. I liked that one a lot more. I loved Wuthering Heights. It was, if you ignore the fact that everyone's like a little bit related, it's a really great read. I read it at the beach and it was just like shocking. I didn't know anything about it. So every single page I was just like, oh, oh my God. This one was 
pretty good. A little bit harder to get through. The other book I really loved this fall was George Orwell, 1984. This is one of those classic books that I, <laughs> like you either hear from people, it's kind of like The Catcher in the Rye. I didn't really know much about this book, but you either hear from people like they hated it or they loved it. But I really loved this book. I thought it was so interesting. I was thinking about some of the themes in it like weeks after that it was done. Stephen King, I got like 500 pages into this and I couldn't finish it. It were so many people, so many different names. I I wanted to get into it. This is the first Stephen King that I've read. I found it in um, a secondhand bookshop in Maine and it would. I was in Maine this summer for like a week. It was interesting enough, but not interesting enough for me to finish it. Take that with what you will. Take that with what you will. You what you could you do you wait. The best advice that I ever got was from like there's like that guy on TikTok. Isn't that always always how it goes? But he was basically saying like if you don't like a book, you don't have to finish it. You don't have to feel like it's some sort of achievement to finish books. I think that's a really good mindset to have, especially if you're getting into reading. You know, you don't necessarily always have to finish a book. I'm I'm constantly trying to chip away at this book, but school has been like really kicking up like crazy at the moment and just my work schedule and things. Um, today's actually Monday. One of my professors canceled class, so I like have a little moment to do. I did three loads of laundry this morning and I baked a banana bread or no, a pumpkin bread because fall. And yeah, it's just when I have a day off, making sure that like the place I come home to every night is nice and clean and like I have all my things ready. Like it just, oh, it just relieves so much stress when the like work week kicks up. Yeah, I'm just watching a bit of Gilmore Girls right now. I have to edit my YouTube video. Wednesday, I had a bunch of classes. So here I am coming from class in the bathroom because, you know, vlogging in public's weird. And um, I basically just did a little homework in between classes here. There's always like a nice place on campus to just kind of tuck away and study. And then when I got home, um, me and my roommate watched Bachelor in Paradise because sometimes when you're studying a lot, you gotta take little breaks to watch trash television. My very, this is my very, very exciting life. and I did make a chili. Did I eat chili for six days after I meal prepped this? Yes, I did. However, sometimes that's just how you eat healthy and have enough food throughout the week. Also, if you've never seen the movie, I fell in love with a church girl with um, T-Bone and the girl from Cheetah Girls, you're missing out. <laughs> and so at the end of the day, I obviously had completed a lot of tasks, as you can see throughout the day very like low grade things though. So I find that at night when I can really focus is when I do my sort of deep work studying or early in the morning. It doesn't really matter. Anytime where you can just really focus on what you're studying. So on Thursday, I had finally finished my midterm. So I went out to dinner with a good friend of mine and then I just walked home and it was really, just a nice way to sort of end like the stressful bit of my week. The semester is going by so fast and there's a million assignments to keep up with. So it's definitely good to take moments throughout your day to enjoy yourself and have a little bit of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.